Ethical recruitment. Ensuring that workers are recruited in a legal, fair, and ethical manner is a challenge faced by many industries, including the palm oil sector, which is a labor intensive industry. Reports have shown that migrant workers globally are at risk of being heavily indebted, as many are forced to pay excessive amounts of money to labor service providers and or individuals in order to secure a job overseas. Also, many workers resort to extreme measures, such as selling their property, borrowing or getting into loans in the hopes of securing a better future for themselves and their families. These loans often have extremely high interest rates, making it a greater burden to pay off these loans. This puts a severe burden on job seekers and workers who are already impoverished. Beyond a CSR initiative, ethical recruitment is grounded in human rights principles that are enshrined in international law. They can be found in the International Labour Organization conventions and are reiterated in other statements of principles, including the UN Guiding Principles on Business and Human Rights, General Principles and Operational Guidelines for Fair Recruitment, Darker Principles for Migration with Dignity, and OECD Guidelines for Multinational Enterprises. What does ethical recruitment mean? Ethical recruitment in general has been used to describe good practices which do not involve charging of recruitment fees or any forms of payment by workers for the purpose of securing a job and ensuring that workers and their rights are protected throughout the recruitment process. Examples of ethical recruitment include conducting due diligence of all contracted third parties, recruitment agencies, service providers, and labor contractors, ensuring that the company has policies on anti-corruption. The terms recruitment fees pertain to costs and expenses associated with the recruitment and hiring of the worker, that is recruiter and agent service fees, documents processing, employer required skills and medical testing, training, documentation, visa, work permits, transportation from sending country to point of entry and return, administration and overhead costs. Recruitment fees can be demanded by the company, by a subcontractor or recruitment agency, a labour service provider, or an individual that arranges job opportunities. They can be from the location of the work, but also from other regions or countries, depending on the place where they recruit the workers from. In all of these recruitment relations, Ethical recruitment applies. Ethical recruitment principles, which are based on international human rights standards, can be found in the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil Principles and Criteria, 2018. RSPO Standard on Ethical Recruitment Principle 1. Behave ethically and transparently. 1.2. The unit of certification commits to ethical conduct in all business operations and transactions, including prohibition from charging recruitment fees to workers, recovering the cost of recruitment and transportation against workers' wages, receiving gifts and commissions from labour intermediaries or suppliers. 1.2.1. A policy for ethical conduct is in place and implemented in all business operations and transactions, including recruitment and contracts. All levels of operations includes contractors. Principle 6. Respect workers' rights and conditions which is directed towards ensuring safe and decent working conditions. 6.1. 
any form of discrimination is prohibited. 6.1.3 The unit of certification demonstrates that recruitment selection, hiring, access to training and promotion are based on skills, capabilities, qualities, and medical fitness necessary for the jobs available. 6.6 .6. No forms of forced labour or trafficked labour are used. The following are prohibited. Retention of identity documents or passports, except for administration purposes, including legalisation and renewal processes. Charging the workers recruitment fees. Contract substitution. Involuntary overtime. Lack of freedom of workers to resign. Penalty to the workers for termination of employment. Debt bondage. Withholding of wages. Benefits of having ethical recruitment include credibility and good reputation, compliance to RSPO requirements, and good morale for workers as they are incentivized based on the merits of their work.